Unfortunately, uh, because turtles like gravelly soil and inclines, they wind up nesting right beside busy roads quite often. Unfortunately, we have had quite a few turtles die on this little area. Um, there's a lot of areas around uh, our county, around southern Ontario, where there's areas that they have wet right up against the road. Oftentimes, you'll see turtles crossing. And, and unfortunately, the chances of them getting killed in that process is very high. So at this time of year, turtle conservationists are asking motorists to be aware. And if you do spot a turtle, to help it out. Because all eight of the turtle species in Ontario are at risk. Uh, so if you see a turtle on the road and it's safe to do so, I would pull over uh, and do your best to help it cross. It's very important that you make sure that the turtle is moved in the direction that it was going. Turtles have a great sense of direction. They know where they want to go. They know where they nest every year. If you take it and put it back in the pond behind it, it just has to cross all over again and you might not be there next time. You can hold it kind of like a hamburger with your fingers underneath, your thumbs on top. Just pick it up, take it across the road, put it down on the other side. It's fairly easy. Um, however, a little bit tricky with the snapping turtles. <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately snapping turtles are a little bit trickier. I don't recommend holding them that way. Uh, snapping turtles necks are about as long as their tails are so they can reach around about to their hind legs. So you can uh, pick them up from the rear end of their shell on either side of their tail and you can put your fingers kind of in their leg holes a little bit and pick them up from there. You can use a snow shovel, a car mat, um, anything that really helps them get across the road. The only thing we say is do not pick up turtles by the tail. Well, some of these nests are empty because the eggs have actually been removed for safety reasons by people who have special permits to do so. So these are all turtle eggs. Rare Charitable Research Reserve is one of those authorized to remove turtle eggs from vulnerable nests. They will collect close to 2,000 eggs that have been spotted by researchers and through tips from the public. About uh, one in 100 turtle eggs actually makes it to surviving to adulthood. Um, actually hatches even. So uh, we think that it's helping uh, give turtles a bit of a chance. All eight of our species of turtles are currently species at risk in Ontario. It'll take about 60 to 80 days for these to hatch. That should be around mid-August to early September. And then all of these turtles will be released back into the wild. In Cambridge, Audra Brown, City News.